Hello English learner, this is teacher Jekka of chemglish.com. I am here to help you easily understand the topics in the book, New Children's Talk 1, written by LIS Korea editorial staff and Twain Voorhees. On this video, we are going to discuss another lesson. We are now on Lesson 6, which is entitled, When Do You Say This? When Do You Say This? This lesson is still part of Part 1, which is Picture Description. Anyway, on this lesson, we are going to discuss various greetings or statements that we frequently use. We are also going to discuss the appropriate time or situation to use them. Let us start with this lesson with an example. The word is congratulations. When do you say congratulations? There is a sample answer for you. Any time a person has achieved some milestone in life, graduated, won an award, got a job or a promotion, gotten married, had a baby, and so forth. Do you understand how to properly answer the question? Let us practice now. On this activity, we are going to uh, interpret some statements and greetings and we need to tell the appropriate time or situation to use them. Number one, nice to meet you. When do you say this? We say nice to meet you whenever we meet someone for the first time. For example, a friend introduced another friend to you. You can say, hello, nice to meet you. It's, it's to say or to let the other person know that you're happy to meet him. Number two. When do you say this? It's up to you. We say it's up to you to let the person know that we are giving him a choice on something. That whatever he decides or choose is okay with us. For example, you are in a, at a restaurant with your friend and uh, your friend asks you, do you want beef or pork? <laughs> if you want to let your friend know that uh, it depends on his choice, you can say, it's up to you. Number three, when do you say, I don't think so? We use I don't think so in showing disagreement or to let the other person know that we don't agree with what he or she has said. It's also followed by your opinion, your uh, other opinion about the topic that you're talking about. For example, your friend says, uh, you know, uh, I, it's, it's best to live in the city. You can say, mm, I don't think so. I think it's better to live in the countryside because the air is clean, life is simple, and it's peaceful. Number four, when do you say, Good luck. We use this statement to wish 
our friend or family member uh, good luck in something that he or she is going to do. For example, your friend is going to join a contest and you want <laughs> to wish her well. You can say good luck. For example, your, your sister is going to take a test and you want to make her feel good. You can say good luck. Were you able to answer the questions for the four pictures here? Good job. On the next video, we are going to answer more, uh, or, and we are going to interpret more statements. Goodbye for now.